Hello everyone and welcome to my mouth movement tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you two types of mouth movement for brick films. The first is one that's very similar to the four monkeys and the other one is sort of branched off that and one that I figured out on my own uh, that I think is pretty easy and, and helpful and it's just quicker overall. So first what you're going to do is you're going to download GIMP and it's free, no viruses, there's a link, download it in the description. And what you're going to do from there is you're going to go to File, Open, and you're going to select the picture that you want to edit, in this case, Awesome Sauce. So you have the picture right there. And the first thing you're going to want to do is zoom way in. I would say around 400%. And once you've done that, you're going to select the Pencil Tool right here. And once you have it about the right size, you can uh, make it bigger by simply clicking here and changing the size. I'm going to make it four in this case. So once you've done that, you're just going to simply draw around the mouth and just making it a little bit bigger. Again, we're not going for a huge, you know, change in the size of the mouth, just a little bit. So you get that idea and you go to export and you're going to change it to Awesome Sauce 2. If you have an older version of GIMP, you may not be exporting it, you may be saving as, but either way, that's how you do it. You just make it uh, one file size bigger than the previous frame. So we had Awesome Sauce, we make it Awesome Sauce 2. And you're going to do it again, just make it a little bit bigger. Again, pretty easy stuff. I'm going to go to File, Export, and we'll make this 3. So I'm not going to uh, bore you with the details but you're going to go up to five. And I'm just gonna to cut to when I have finished that and then we're going to go into the next step. Okay, so I've made my five frames. And what you're gonna do now is you're going to click the fourth one and you're gonna to go to copy and you're going to go to paste. You're gonna to go to paste. And so now you've, you have a, a copy of it here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make this awesome sauce six so there we go and now you can see uh, the idea of this here is that you're going to have uh, a slight rise up in terms of mouth size and then a slight rise back down because otherwise you would be going straight from five which is the biggest mouth size all the way over back to one which is the smallest and obviously that's not going to be very smooth so you want to have, uh, excuse me, have small increments to compensate for that. So you get the idea. You'd make two, number eight, and then one, number nine. You get that. I've been over this a hundred times. We're not robbers. We're heisters. Heisters sounds so much more badass. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. So for the other uh, mouth movement, you're going to go to File, Open again, and you're going to click on the smallest mouth size here. Zoom in to 400, just like last time. However, instead of selecting the Pencil Tool, you will be selecting the Rope Tool. And what you can do is you can highlight the edges of the mouth, just like this. And this may seem a bit tedious, but after the first frame, it really helps out just to uh, do this because it's a big time saver on the other frames and it also keeps the shape of the Lego's mouth and therefore I think it looks just a little bit better. But either way, whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat, use that. So you're just going to drag out all four corners here, just like that. Make it slightly bigger, you can scale it. Then you're going to go to File, Export. And again, just like the last one, make it one size bigger. Pretty much everything about this uh, mouth movement is exactly the same, except instead of drawing in the mouth, you are simply highlighting the edges and then scaling it. So again, you just make all four corners bigger for the third frame. I don't have to bore you with the rest. You get the idea. Yeah, this is a robbery, and we're the robbers. Thank you for watching. I'm going to have a blinking tutorial pretty soon to go along with the mouth movements and that'll add some pizzazz to your video. 
so subscribe to know when that's up. Should be up within a month. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for other brick films or tutorials that come on. Uh, see you guys later.